my channel. I am so happy to be back. It's 2023. There's so many things happening this year. I hope your year started off amazing. This is the year of like, we, we, we went from like 2022 where we just started getting adjusted again. And then now 2023, I feel things are becoming like the norm, like they were. So there's a lot of stuff that people are excited about, look forward to. People are really into health this year and getting their health in order, exercise, their well-being, their spirituality and all that kind of stuff. And just taking care of their mental health like people are really looking into that this year which is really important so grateful that we support each other and encourage each other i just want to discuss like some of my favorite products that i've discovered in 2022 that i want to carry over in 2023 things that have just like really changed my makeup routine and skincare routine and all that good stuff so i'm just going to put my reading glasses on the library is open oh, i'm just kidding charlotte tilbury really made a difference in my skincare routine especially my makeup application this is the magic cream and this is the 50 ml and they have refills for this one which is great it's filled with hyaluronic acid the hyaluronic acid is really going to hydrate your skin and just help you create also those water pockets and give you more of that plump and natural looking skin give you a little bit of a glow and just make you look nice and hydrated which helps with the application of the makeup because if your skin is nicely hydrated and prepped then the makeup is just going to glide right on it's going to look amazing in photos in person naturally beautiful and there's no going to be patches or anything like that which is really nice which is what we want that aside then they have the magic serum it's firming hydrating has hyaluronic acid and then it also has vitamin c which is really good for dark spots and really good for actually minimizing pores that i found out but also dark spots is really good or any uh hyperpigmentation it really helps with that just don't put it on your eyes no bueno so what you're supposed to do in the skincare realm serum then moisturizer then we have the beautiful skin foundation by charlotte tilbury it does have hyaluronic acid it's a 16 hour natural glow which is true it doesn't move it doesn't budge it's really really nice it looks like actual skin a lot of people use this as like a tinted moisturizer then the concealer the beautiful skin radiant concealer radiant is right in there so it's nice and brightening which just makes you look like awake and fresh and had good sleep it has hyaluronic acid in it great for dark circles medium coverage and long wearing so i don't use this as an everyday concealer if i find that sometimes my eyes are a little dry then i put this on oh my god i'm obsessed with this product this is the beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer in medium number two and it's absolutely oh my god it's so beautiful and velvety and creamy and just so beautiful it just goes on so smooth, so silky. It's a cream powder. There's nothing else that I need, but I find myself still using a little bit of setting uh, powder for my contour, like a bronzer to set this. And so what I use with this is a beautiful dense brush. It can't be too soft and it can't be too hard. Sorry if it's a little dirty, but this is um, number 37 by NYX. It's one of my, <laughs> I got some on my hand. It's not too soft, not too hard. And it just gives you that nice sculpting look like all around the frame. Um, even the tip here, you see how it's a little bit angled. You can even do the nose if you contour noses. I don't, maybe I should, I don't know. By the way, all the products that I'm talking about they're all cruelty free so we're gonna talk about Sephora collection for a minute the best skin ever the foundation and the concealer these items are the ones that I use every single day the foundation at first I thought it was mattifying I don't know why but I found that as I was putting it on, I did notice that I wasn't really, obviously because of skincare and all that kind of stuff, like it wasn't really giving me a, like that much oil in my T-zone. The finish was just so lovely. So it's hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid, natural finish, long wearing and medium coverage. It's all that. It's just incredible. It is so good. Then they have the concealer. You get so much more and the wand is so big and I use this for highlighting which is great. You can even use these for contouring if you want. They're so good. No parabens, no sulfates, no talc, that kind of stuff, like really clean. And then it's vegan and natural finish, full coverage. So if you also suffer a little bit of like hyperpigmentation, dark circles and whatnot, or you want to use it for around the face, if you want to just use it for blemishes or just here and there, this is such a good foundation, um, a concealer. Exactly. I say foundation because, you know, people use it around their face as well, instead of just the eyes. So raving about this absolutely love these this is the night 
Lip Mask by Sephora Collection, and this is in the vanilla. I do put it on. It really depends. <laughs> I always have lip balm. I always have lip balm. I always put lip balm before my lipstick. You guys know that. If it's a really dry day out there, I'm going to wear it and it still works like it's amazing so it just even if we're at night it's when your cells regenerate is when you're sleeping like it just re you wake up with a beautiful plump lip just so hydrated just so nice clean at sephora which is great it's vegan and it's good for dryness then we have the sephora lip balms i love the coconut one i'm telling you every time i put it on i think of a coconut cookie have you ever had a coconut cookie oh my god they're so good when i started reading up on it that's when I found out that it was a scrub as well, because I wouldn't have thought it was. It literally says clean lip balm and scrub on the Sephora website. Any flakiness or exfoliation, you can actually scrub if you like. So it's really gentle. It doesn't have any particles in it whatsoever. I put it on like in the morning and I don't need to reply till like hours later. It's a little bit more hydrating than the lip mask. It keeps me hydrated all day long. I absolutely love it. They have it in cherry, in lychee, which I'm willing to try next because I'm obsessed with lychees. Passion fruit in rose, which I've tried before. I absolutely love it. And then they have it in watermelon, which is really good for summer. These are the Sephora lip stain lip satin. So they do stain a little bit and they, and they are a satin finish. It does say matte on the website, but I've put it on over the holidays and it's definitely a nice satin, just a touch of matte, but not too matte where you feel too dry. Always again, it's good to put a little bit of a lip balm under there because for things like this, you just want to be nice and hydrated so it doesn't fade or crack right in the middle. If you're just talking all day or drinking, eating like yawning, whatever, like it just kind of stays on a little bit better if that makes any sense. Oh my God, this red, it's like the perfect holiday red. I've tried it on a few different skin tones. It is just a complimentary red. It's called Always Red. I believe it's number one. Yeah. Mattifying Setting Spray by Sephora Collection, which I absolutely love. This is my everyday use. It's 16 hour wear. It is sweat humidity resistant, transfer proof, which is amazing. So true. Like my makeup doesn't move. It's just like a natural finish and it's a little bit hydrating, but it's also mattifying at the same time. All right. So now we're going to segue into the Patrick Star One Size. So this is Until Dawn Setting Spray, which is the mattifying finish. And I tested it out like right here in my TikTok and my reel. I just lost my mind when I came upon this item. It just did so many things. It caused blurring, which was really good. So when everything was nice and smooth and photos and whatever, uh, videos, it's waterproof. It's also a sweat proof. It is transfer proof. And it is also mattifying. Like your makeup does not move. I tested it out for like 18 hours. I went to bed with it and I woke up the next day just to see what it would look like. And that just blew me away. Shooketh. It looked snatched even in the morning. I was like, this is amazing. So a little tip there. If you want to, you know, what kind of night you're having. So if you want to just, just, just put that up there, the makeup does not move. When you put this on compared to this, this is like your everyday. This is if you're going out, if you're doing a show, if you're under lights, if you're on the red carpet or something like where you want it to last and you don't want it to move and you don't have to touch up too much. This is your guy right here. I am not kidding. Like this thing is bulletproof. So bulletproof. Okay. Then he has the translucent powder. I got the travel size just because I wanted to test it out. There's two colors. There's a universal translucent and then there's the dark deep. So when you mix this with this, like pores be gone, long wearing matte finish, vegan, has a silky smooth texture, which is true. Visibly blurs fine lines and improves the look of texture skin. So good. So true. Exactly that. I absolutely love it. And I also use that powder when I'm doing like the full contour highlighting and illuminating that kind of stuff. Then I want to venture into the makeup forever shine control. This primer is absolutely incredible. It reminds me a lot of the Becca primer. Remember how it was like, it just, I don't know when I put that on, it just made me feel instantly snatched. I just felt like instantly matte. Like it just felt like a little <laughs> suction that went on my face. It just kind of like stood there and stuck there all day and nothing would move. And it was, it minimized my pores. They do have one that minimizes pores. This does both. So it's like cheaper. They do have a travel size. This is the regular size. So I just put this one in my T-zone. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum, the cream, depending on the day, I put it on my frame. And with that together, putting the makeup together, it just, everything just goes on so smooth. So good. Love it. 
Then we have Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminating Stick. I love these so much. They're so lovely. I know so, 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 but I'm really into it. Like, I always speak the truth and experience and tell you if it's good or bad. And everything I'm talking about today are life-changing products that have really kicked up my makeup routine. This is the illuminating stick here. So I'm just gonna put it on my hand. This one is called Pink Diamond. And on the other side, it has the brush where you can blend it in. What you could do with this too, just like I do with my brushes, if they start getting a little questionable, a little dirty, you know, you can just wash it with a little dish soap and then you could just use it again. The Amazonian Clay Illuminator by Tarte, and this one is in the Champagne Glow. There's so many of them. I think there's like five. No, sorry, I think there's three. I think there's three illuminators and then it just gradually goes into blushes. But what I do is I do a cream, as you know from my videos and stuff. Um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with my videos or work, then this is what I do. I put a cream when I'm doing a full face, the cream illuminator first, and then I top it with a powder. So look at that. You just get that out of the way. Oh my God, right? Doesn't it give you chills? It gives me chills. Like I just absolutely love that look. Like it's so natural. You can even do that in the summertime without even doing a full face. You don't have to. When the summertime is just gonna look so good. Like with like tan skin or just like a little bit of a glow, a little sun kissed skin, whatever. It's still gonna give you like just a beautiful glow all over. Like I just absolutely love it. Then we have the lip liners that I invested in by Huda Beauty 2.0. They're called Lip Contour 2.0. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing Honey Beige and then I'm wearing Come Over by MAC. So then we have Universal Red. It goes so well with that Always Red Sephora a lip satin just because it's like a beautiful, just like a perfect red lip, like very Taylor Swift. I'm gonna put the picture right here and show you what that red looks like so you have an idea of what I mean. This is the look that I did for a beautiful pinup Christmas. It was just such a cute moment. I had so much fun making that video. But I love these because they do not budge you will put them on and hours later i find that i have the lip liner still there but the lipstick is gone on the inside but the lip liner is still standing so they're they're i would say they're waterproof but they're really good if you really have like a creamy lipstick on if you want to do like a nice matte lip liner and then you put on a gloss so then like it doesn't become a whole mess after make sure that if you do do it with a gloss or a lipstick just put it on let it set for a second so it sits these are great they don't move and especially if you're doing like a red lip it did not move it didn't budge i wore this over the holidays and oh my god it didn't move it was amazing did not move it just kept my lip just perfect red a little like just so so lovely so happy with that product then we're going to talk about merit oh my god this is their tubing mascara and i've never used a tubing mascara in my life i wanted to try it and the brush is really nice nice and close to each other like the comb is which means it's going to brush through every single lash and what i find with this is that even though it's like lengthening and the brush is like this, you can build it up to like voluminizing as well in the same session. And I found with this, I didn't have any deposits underneath my eye whatsoever. It's vegan, clean at Sephora, long wearing, which is true, Allure 2021 Clean Beauty winner. I am not surprised. I'm obsessed with this mascara. Plant derived rice bran wax. Adds structure and length to lashes. Usually when it's not a tubing mascara, a lot of mascaras out there, not all, it is a little heavy and it could be a little bit too much to take for your lashes. So you're gonna lose some lashes when you're removing it. When it says add structure and length to lashes, it's actually strengthening them, which means they're not gonna break. When you take off your tube of mascara by Merit, it's just gonna come off. It comes off even with water. It's not harsh at all. Then we have the Orgasm X by NARS and it has the illuminator and it has the two blushes inside. The illuminating powder, this is Orgasm, this is Orgasm X and they're all illuminating. Like they're not flat colors. I've never talked about this in a video before, but I do put it on my Instagram posts and it's the duo. It's the one with the green writing and I love it because it just dries almost immediately. It's great. And it, and it dries clear. I don't need to bring it with me. Like my lashes just don't move. It, they just stay on. Like Shayna coming out with these was the most amazing thing. And I got these for pride. Like she had a whole, uh, pride launch. I got this like maybe I think it was like 2021 I got these or maybe it was during the 
you know what anyways i want to carry them into 2023 and i do want to invest in more of her palettes because these here this is what you see when i do my 80s stuff they're so neon i've worn these for my pride look last year which is this one right here and i took a night photo and they were glowing in the dark it was incredible it was incredible she's got so many other colors and they just activate with water with a brush you clean the brush with water and they come off with water one really important item that i came across and i wanted to finish with it is an eye wash it was 10 bucks at shoppers it's sterile it's uh, soothing cooling refreshing it has witch hazel in it as i said like my eyes just i'm always experimenting with them because they're so sensitive my eye is just really sensitive so i really have to be careful in what i use and i know right away what the issue is because i suffer for it for three days sometimes it's crazy it's always this one always like waterworks waterworks and so whatever i did a little research on it because i'm like what can i do to help this and so i came across an article for eye wash and i got an eye wash and oh my god it changed my life so as soon as i start feeling a little bit of a mm, i just do an eye wash so it's a liquid and it comes with a cap which is shaped like your eye and you just put it up until that little line that it shows you there and you just tilt back your head a little bit with like your eye wide open blinking a lot so like it really gets behind the eye and really washes out and then i just like toss it in the sink wipe it with a paper towel because paper towels don't have any particles in them those little tissue kleenex they do or towels they do so you're just right back to square one so just pat it down with like a paper towel and then do the other eye i really hope that this video helped you and just gave you an outlook of some products that we talked about today they are incredible they really changed my life don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to follow me on instagram don't forget to follow me on etsy and again go to instagram where it has my direct me link so it can you click it and you just takes you to all my platforms anyway happy 2023 and i'll talk to you soon bye